Another round of talks aimed at ending the conflict in Syria, now in its ninth year. For two days, delegates have negotiated and argued about peace. The Kazakh capital, Nur Sultan, formerly called Astana, is where this track of diplomacy began in 2017, between the guarantors, Russia, Iran and Turkey. The United Nations also took part alongside the Syrian government and opposition representatives. They have to put civilians on their priority list and uh, make sure to go forward with the political process. There are hundreds of thousands of detainees in Syria that they can't connect with their families. They can't. We, we don't know even if they're alive or dead. Although the UN believes the real diplomatic solution is being drafted in Geneva with Syria's new constitution, progress there has been stalled for months. The Constitution Committee in itself will of course not solve the Syrian crisis. So we need also to discuss the broader aspects of Security Council Resolution 2254. And that uh, I will continue to discuss uh, with the two parties. The so-called safe zone along the Turkish border and the offensive in rebel-held Idlib were top of the agenda. The Turkish and Russian presidents agreed to establish a corridor free of Kurdish fighters where Syrian refugees could return. But like everywhere else in Syria, guaranteeing safety in that 30 kilometer zone can never be certain. Diplomats and representatives tried to show there's been progress in the 14th meeting of the Astana process. There could be no military solution to the Syrian conflict and reaffirm their commitment to advance viable and lasting Syrian-led and Syrian-owned UN-facilitated political process in line with the UN Security Council Resolution 2254. Although it's still very cold, but optimists in Nur Sultan will tell you minus 12 degrees centigrade is a lot better than minus 30 a few days ago. Similarly, all parties involved in the conflict in Syria have been telling us that it is an achievement to have everyone under one roof, but previous agreements such as deconfliction zones and avoiding civilian casualties have not been fully implemented. <laughs> Thousands of miles away from the five-star hotels, bombs are still dropping on Syrians. The Syrian opposition says regime of President Bashar al-Assad, with help from its Russian allies, has intensified attacks on Idlib. <laughs> Aid workers say more than 92,000 civilians have been displaced from the countryside of Hama and Idlib in recent weeks. Russia says all that's not true. All of it, completely. It's uh, fake news. There is a threat towards uh, the Russian military base, towards the Russian personnel coming out from this Idlib area, of course we will respond. So you, you're absolutely right, uh, we have some red lines, but nevertheless, uh, 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 despite the red lines uh, which we cannot cross, not the Turkey, nor, nor we as, as the Russian, uh, nevertheless we managed to, uh, uh, to agree on, on, on different uh, subjects. And while millions brave another winter, the hope for peace and returning home remains elusive for most Syrians. Osama bin Javed al Nur Sultan.